All right. It's time to continue the Pokemon Red. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. Wait, what is going on? Um, am I imagining things, or is this NPC, like, weirdly shifting left and right? <laughs> Wait a minute. I think I'm tired. I don't know. Maybe my eyes are tired. See, now it feels normal. Just in there, it felt weird. The game is a bit loud still, really. I mean, I thought I lowered it last time, but... Alright, even further. That's now negative eight. Why have I not noticed this before? I don't think I did this- it might, this might just be the analog pocket being weird. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, well, anyway, I'm heading to... The power plant. There's a bunch of stuff I need to get here. Oh man, now I can't unsee it. <laughs> Have I just not noticed it? Oh, they only sell- Ugh. Do I have enough? I have twelve- That's probably not enough. That's why I was- That's why I was in- s Okay, okay. I got it. Oh, you need- no, but I need cut. I need to get cut anyway. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Has it really taken me this long to realize that that's happening? I, re I refuse to believe it. Hold on. I'm muting my desktop audio. I'm gonna look at the first part of this. Pokemon Red. I know this is just a bit of a derail. It'll take it'll take like five seconds. Perfect. I skip. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't look like it happened. It doesn't look like it happened in the first part. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Whatever. Ah. Uh, maybe... Maybe it's got something to do with standby mode. Okay. Uh, I don't think we need strength. I think we just need cut. To get to the uh the power plant. Oh, there's Beedrill. I can't believe this. So does- I get- see, I- I'm tired and yet I can see that. I refuse to believe that, the, that it's been this way the whole time. Like, maybe it's happened multiple times, I can believe that. But I, I feel like I would have noticed it at some point, otherwise. Otherwise, man, my eyes, there's gotta be something wrong. I might need to go get them checked. <laughs> or maybe it just didn't bother me, I don't know. 
Okay, let me, let me do something for science. Just for science sake, okay? Not that. Okay. Right? I'm just gonna put the analog pocket to sleep. I'm gonna wake it up. I'm gonna do like a hard reboot, so no sleep. So, quick game. And let's see what happens. Nope, it's still sh- what the <laughs> Hold on. Analog pocket. Pokemon red shifting graphics. I don't know how else to put it. seems to be reporting it. Uh, I'll look into this later. <laughs> I can't unsee it. <laughs> oh no, this may have ruined the game for me now. Well, thankfully, I'm, like, right near the end, I guess. The other thing is not- well, I guess... I wouldn't- like, okay, even if this has been happening the whole time, no one's pointed it out. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. You were at some point where you thought I was already aware. Well, I guess I must have missed that. No, I, I may have missed it. Yeah, I'm not sure what causes it. Right, so the, the things that I have to do here... My team is currently weak. It's probably not strong enough to get through the Elite Four. And I have one major problem, which is I have three flying types, and I think I know how to fix it. It's gonna just require a little bit of um, adjustment on my part. Oh yeah, no, I keep, I keep Arbok. Kept Arbok. We need something that inflicts stat. So that thing was invaluable when catching Articuno. I don't have anything with hypnosis that has a high enough level. Okay, this is something I don't have yet. Uh, need to probably swap leaders. Please don't blow up. Okay.
don't kill, don't kill, don't kill! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, I can't use bite. I just, I just had a, I just had a thought. Sorry, chat. Two seconds. No, it's still doing it. Okay. Because <laughs> I was using a dodgy cable, a dodgy HDMI cable. Well, USB-C cable as an extender, so then I could still have access to the link cable port. But I don't need that anymore, and I thought, well, maybe that would be it. I really can't unthink it now, can I? No, it's, bother it's bothering me, <laughs> like, so much. Because this is, like, this is a matter of viewing quality. Like, I want things to look good, and... This is this is a very human thing I'm showing you. Like no matter no matter how much I'm like, it doesn't bother me, 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 it bothers me, it bothers me, it bothers me. That's that's what's happening. It's a good thing it didn't bring it up before. <laughs> yeah. Ignorance is bliss. Oh, for fuck's sake. Get crit. Okay, I think I think I know how to how to like make it go out of focus. It's just Look at the character, don't look at the surroundings. Just look at the character. Focus on the character. <laughs> Just tunnel vision, tunnel vision the character. Uh oh. I mean, I got three of these, I may as well try. Alright, nice. No! <laughs> Damn it. Too soon. <laughs> I thought I had it. Alright, there we go. Okay. Uses anti gravity to stay suspended, appears without warning, and uses Thunder Wave and similar moves. Yeah. See, now it's got me worried that, like, other games have done this as well. I'm curious if this is just a case of this game, or, like, every other game I've played. Ugh. I should have bought more potions. Oh, well. This is problematic. I'm fine. I just- I just wanna catch one! I might- I might have to save before I- <laughs> I interact with one. 
If I haven't caught one by the time I get to Zapdos, uh... Okay, please, just have mercy. You know what? <laughs> ah, ah, oh, oh boy. Ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> I need this. Ah, oh, game wire. Ah. Oh. Well. Thankfully, there's a Pokemon Center just around the corner. Oh, come on, stop! It's fine, it's fine, just... Okay. I guess I kind of do have a second option. Like, I could use Vileplume, but it wouldn't be... Well, I guess it would be useful against Zapdos. It wasn't useful against Moltres or Articuno, but... It'll be useful here, because it's not going to kill. Yeah, I think I can use Sleep this time. Okay. Gotta change box. Gotta change box. Deposit. Uh... Well, I guess I don't need Beedrill now. Because I'm already at the point where I've gone past the cut. Uh, Valplume. Ooh, Vileplume's only level 36, jeez. Alright, well I'll have two options. I'll have Paralyze and I'll have... I'll have that. I'll have Sleep as well. I mean, I'm getting there. I'm at 124. Nearly at the end. Some of it will happen in the Cerulean Cave later, but... The power plant should bring it to... 128, I think? Okay. This is just in case. I run out of bolt orbs, I guess. Well, oh, no, electrode, because electrode's the rare one. I need to catch one specifically for the purpose of evolving and trading it. Please don't murder it. <laughs> Crap. Okay, well. 
It's alright, I should run into another one. I guess R box the uh the catch attack. Okay. That's right, go to sleep. Hit it again. Alright, I'm just gonna have to go for it. Nice! <laughs> Alright. That's that pain done. Usually found in power plants, easily mistaken for a Pokeball. They have zapped many people. Okay. Good. Redemption. I can't believe how useful this is this has come. And so handy. I forgot to. <laughs> I've had a really long week, chat. Ugh. It's a good thing Pikachu seems to be common. If it was Electabuzz, I would have I would have been more upset. plan is to trade Raichu for Dugong. And then use that Dugong. Well, I guess it depends what level it is, but... I'm gonna swap Gyarados for Dugong, because I just have too many flying types. And... When we get up to... I forget her name. The, the Ice. The Ice one. Which is the first room I'm gonna probably get wiped. Ice is a big problem for me, so I need to alleviate that by having a water ice type, and then that's just not gonna be a thing. And it'll be my solution against the dragons, so that's my plan. This is a fresh box. There is no way this is going to get full anytime soon. I'm, I'm set this time. I'm good this time. Nice. Alright, now we're talking. 
And this one I can I can actually fight. Put to sleep. Ah. Oh. I don't think I have a paralyze heal. One more, one more. Sleep. All right, nice. Oh, that sound. Normally found near power plants, they can wander away and cause major blackouts in cities. Full heal. Yes, I have one. Okay, so that leaves Magneton, um, Electrode, and Zapdos. I'm pretty much gonna run unless it's a... an Electrode. <laughs> I can't run. Kidding. <laughs> okay, well. If it insists. Saving at H1. One of these is going to be Electrode. Speak of the devil. Okay, this, this is scary. Did not do much at all. Alright, let's go for the big attack. Uh oh. Oh! oh. <laughs> what do you mean? No! Ah! <laughs> ah! This is why I saved. One sec. <laughs> Gotta. Gotta load. <sighs> so annoying. This is just, yep, hoping it doesn't self-destruct. I think I, I need to bring out a heavy hitter. It's level 43, it should survive.
Oh, because it's light screen. That's why. So if I use Charizard Slash, I should bring it down pretty quickly. Okay. Yes! <laughs> there we go. Okay, that one's done. It stores electric energy under very high pressure. It often explodes with little or no provocation. Okay. That's that line done. So that just leaves... Magneton and, uh... Zapdos. Pretty sure I can run into Magneton. Let me just double check so I'm not wasting time. Pretty sure you can. It, it might be a thing where it was just in Pokemon Yellow, because I know it's just Magnemite. There's no Mag. Oh no! Wait, yes, there is. Power Plant Encounters, um, 10% chance for Magneton. You can get it. Raichu is only in blue. Apparently. Oh, I know why, because they don't get, um... They don't get Electabuzz, that makes sense. Alright, so 1 in 10 chance of getting Magneton. Okay. I'll run into it eventually. Might be a TM worth it. That's my thinking. Alright, for this I'm just gonna bring out a heavy hitter. If it's a Volt Orb, just take it out. Oh, <laughs> okay. It's not a good TM. For a sec there, I thought, oh, immediate. Immediately justified on what I'm doing. Prepping my tea. Okay, TM twenty five. Yeah, there we go. Keep it. I think that's what I was looking for. I remember there being a good TM here. Yeah. I just realized Zapdos is going to have Drill Peck. <laughs> but I guess I have Arbok as a, as a backup, but... I just realized it's going to have Drill Peck. 
So if it uses Drill Pack, it's gonna take out Vile Plume regardless. I guess just hope on RNG. Pretty much at the end of it here. Yeah. There it is. Alright. It has a convenient exit as well, so. Alright. Uh, I guess try with Vile Plume if it doesn't work. I have Arbok as a backup for status affliction. I don't think it's gonna- it's gonna drill back me, watch. No, okay, good, good, good. It's probably still gonna do a lot of damage. No, okay, good. Okay. Now, because it's flying... Okay, I'm gonna use Charizard to get some decent damage in. Dick. Alright, I'm still gonna do- oh, oh, this is gonna hurt. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Hang in there. Okay, uh, this is about all I can do. Exactly what I was worried about. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Uh, plan B. Please, please don't kill. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Just hope. It's not as good as sleep. Man, Drill Pack is such a messed up attack. Okay, um... This is fodder. Yes! <laughs> Alright, got it. That was way more straightforward than Articuno. A legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear from clouds whilst... Dropping enormous lightning bolts. Okay, that's done. Um, I need to come back to get Magneton. Otherwise, we're basically done. And then, I guess now... I need to prepare the team for the Elite Four. Um, 
Um, I don't need the coin case anymore. I've already saw it, sorted the Paragon thing. That is a bad TM. Okay. Catch a Pikachu? Guess I didn't. Okay. Well, that's fine. It's no biggie. So Magneton and Pikachu, that's all I need to catch. Okay, so it's going to get me to 129 with Magneton. Stay asleep! I feel like this got it last time. Um, it might be able to survive a wing attack. It won't be effective. Hopefully. Yeah, good. It's just for trading. No. Alright, now I just gotta find Magneton, so this might take a minute. It's a 10% chance, so it shouldn't be too bad. So y yellow has Grimer and Muck in here. Which makes sense, because no Pikachu. <laughs> I mean, I, I was hoping it would be 1 in 10, but it's not. Like, really, it's... yeah, it's not that at all.
Metan. All you have to do is ask. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this thing can self-destruct as well, so I gotta be careful. There we go. Should do. Okay, and that's that's it. That's everything in the power plant. Formed by multiple magnemite, frequently appear when sunspots flare up. Something like that. Paraphrasing. <laughs> okay, one twenty nine. Okay, so now we are going to fly to Celadon, evolve Pikachu, and then trade it. And then I'll choose which Dugong I go with. Admittedly, this is probably going to be more grindy than I would have liked, but it is what it is. buy potions and all that at the end. Wait a minute, it's not... I thought it was here. This is just... That's the... Ah, uh, that's the previous floor. There it is. Uh... Thunder. I'm gonna need... I'm just gonna make sure because it does, there's evolutions that I need to do, so let's just make sure. I'm stocked. That should be fine. I'm pretty sure all the Thunderstone ones are done. going to be the worst. <laughs> Hello there, do you want to trade a Raichu for- or Electrode? Wait, Electrode? No. Venonat. Tangler? No, hang on. Who do What's Dugong for? Hold on. Okay. 
Isn't it Dugong Pokemon Red? Dugong trade. That reminds me, I need to do, um... Okay, here we go, the in-game trades. Mr. Mime for Abra. Yeah, Cerulean City is for Jinx. Polywell for Jinx. I need to do Polywell for Jinx still. Ponyta for Seals, Cinnabar Island. Yeah, that's the one I'm trying to do. Ugh, where is it? It's... Okay, this is my bad. But you know what? Just for the sake of demonstrating, I'll, I'll do it. This cause an urban legend. You'll see why. So you trade Raichu for Electrode. I don't know if this was just lost in translation or it was just... Because originally Pikachu was going to have a third form and they cut it. So it's either it was a bad translation or it was a leftover from the beta. One or the other that still let it to be translated. So check this out. Pretty normal. But then watch this. The Raichu you traded to me went and evolved. And so, I remember this, it was the name of, I, I don't know if it, I think it was Pika Flare. It was like, people were saying, yeah, that's Pika Flare. You can ha get it to happen. I don't remember the stupid stuff I would have tried to get it to happen. Doris. I have Ponyta in here somewhere. Yeah, there's a Ponyta. This is just gonna become Rapidash. Ponyta is just caught here, so we're fine. Um, Firestone. Wait, it's not? I thought Ponyta was Firestone. Maybe it's not. Ponyta... What level does it evolve at? It evolves at 40, okay. Well, that's another one I'm gonna have to grind out. Fact. Let me see what the highest level pony talking catch is. I could have sworn it was like Growlithe, but I guess not. Okay. And I've got... Okay, I've got a level 32 one, so this one's probably at the higher end. This shouldn't kill it. Oh, um, okay, okay, it's fine, that's, that's fine. I just need one to trade, that's all. Okay.
I'll keep the one I have because it's higher level, it just means less levels to get. Okay, so I'm... Can you catch Poliwell? Because otherwise I'm gonna have to get a high level... Let me see. Apparently Route 10 Celadon City. Super Rod, 50%. Okay. Wrong thing. Then that, that'll be fine. It's not too bad. Okay, we are going to sell it on. I think I know where it's talking about, actually. It's here. It would have to be here. I need to catch two. I need to catch one to evolve for myself and one to trade for Jinx. Shouldn't be hard. There we go. Ah, slowpoke. It says 50-50 chance that it's between this and poly Polywell. So, you know, just three coin flips in a row. Same result. Pretty unlucky.
<laughs> Four coin flips in a row. We're approaching the uh, statistical anomaly. pretty high level. Very convenient that I have this now. Capable of living in and out of water, when out of water, it sweats to keep its body slimy. Okay, that's one. <laughs> I, need, I need another one. It will just give it time. <sighs> Stay asleep. I mean, I don't think it's going to matter too much. It's just. Ooh, okay. Uh, and Ultra Ball. Okay. as I hate to do that. Because I spent so much time on it, but I, I kind of have to. That's that done. An adept swimmer at both the front crawl and breaststroke easily overtakes the best human swimmers. Okay. 
Okay. I need to get the HM for Surf out. I think four is strength, but... Two might be... I know one is cut. That's fly. That's strength, of course, so three is... Or maybe five. No, five is flash. HMO on cut, fl flash. Three is... would have to be sir. Debating whether or not I should use Zapdos. Zapdos would be a good addition. Because flying electric, instead of just straight up flying. Uh, where? Yeah, where is this? Alright, so this is a bike. It would have to be this house. No. What? So where's. Oh, this house. One more. Oh, jeez, that noise. One thirty two. I mean, some of these will be Cerulean Cave. Star, you can go Waterstone. So that's another one I can get. What's the deck entry? Human shape. <laughs> it seductively wiggles its hips as it walks. It can cause people to dance in unison with it. Ugh. Okay. Ooh. 
let's find Stayu. I probably should have done this sooner, but it's fine. I think I've done most of the stone evolutions. Mysterious. Its central core glows with the seven colors of the rainbow. Some people value the core as a gem. Let me just see what else I can do here. Just low hanging fruit. I guess we're at the point now where... Grind. <laughs> okay. And that's like... Yeah, okay. This is now the team I'm intending to move forward with. Now, to make this easier and focus, I'm gonna stop using experience all. Yeah, okay. I wanna particularly focus on Dugong. No room left for items? Apparently, apparently I'm, I'm just straight up full, huh? Can I get, I mean... I'll withdraw the ethers. And then deposit. I can't believe just that's it. Just how quickly you run out of item space. Alright. I'm trying to think what a good place to train would be. I'm almost positive here is fine because... Just fight. So for Vileplume and... And Seal, it'll be just a matter of, uh... Of just fighting rock types, which can happen here.
Actually, I'll just go to the cave here. I'm pretty sure most most of the Pokemon can train here properly. I don't have to go too far, I just need to balance a few out that are a little behind and XP sharing is not doing me any favours right now. Yeah, this is why I got this seal in particular. It's just the boosting is going to help a lot. Alright, so it's going to be a little grindy for a while. <laughs> oh, damn. Nice. But it hopefully shouldn't take too long. I caught a gold out. Yeah, I'm pretty certain I did. Okay, Dugong needs help. Pretty much eventually the way I'm going to level stuff up will be Cerulean Cave and I'll just pair whatever I want to level up with with a carry. the most from crystal and red as the XP bar in the battle. Oh, it makes a satisfying sound as well. When you level up, it's like, ding! <laughs> and you can see. Not only that, you get to see the little icon that shows if you've caught the Pokemon or not. Also, the sprites looked really good in Crystal, and the little animations they did. I mean... <laughs> some of these vary between, oh yeah, they're alright. And just... Like, Geodude looks like it has a bunch of pimples on its head. Uh, I blame myself for this. I I did not raise this team correctly. <laughs> I could have done a much better job. The crazy thing is I, I forgot about Dugong. It was something that I would- I, I would have Dugong sometimes. Because I played through the game a couple times, but like, if I didn't have Blastoise, it would be Dugong. Marchop's abs or whatever look more like he's malnourished. <laughs> yeah. I didn't understand what Marchop was even supposed to be. It, like, had gills and muscular, like... I thought it was a fish, and then it grew into, like, this muscular thing.
So, I mean, at least this is... This is gonna go okay, like... Seal is pretty capable. Golbat's sprite is crazy. Yeah, Golbat is, like, really intimidating in this. Like, it, it looks like it has rabies or something. I wonder if the cartridge is just dirty. Because I'm even noticing that Surf looks a little glitchy. When it, it certainly wasn't doing that before. The cartridge may be dirty. It's alright. I was watching, like, a, a video that was showing the differences of the sprites from green to red. Venusaur sprite, it just looks like Venusaur got squished. It just looks flat. Level 30 growl, what? <laughs> okay, well, at any rate... It's leveling quickly because of the boosting, so I should be happy. This is a pretty good spot, because... It's almost like I'm doing trainer battles with this. Okay. But yeah, almost a thousand for that one. Oh shit. Well, I, I mean, I got this already. But this is gonna be worth some XP. Here's the thing I don't get is... <laughs> I would have grinded a lot as a kid. And yet I never naturally ran into a shiny. I mean, I get that the odds are really low, but I, I played this game a lot. Not this game, but you know. The series a lot. You would think at a certain point I would have run into at least one. I mean, the cave of chance he might appear. No, that's uh, Cerulean Cave, which is after the Elite Four. Right now, I'm preparing the team for the Elite Four, so... The problem I have right now is I have too many flying types, so... I'm gonna struggle in that first... That first fight. So what I'm doing is I replace Gyarados... Well, I'm gonna put, replace Gyarados with Dugong. So then, at least... It's water, ice, and then it gets stabbed from ice. And it'll be in charge of taking out Lance later. So then I, I have- I have pretty much have an answer for everything. Except maybe- no, but it's Ghost. Yeah, I have an answer for everything. Your first shiny was in Crystal. Got one. And never again, not counting the red Gyarados, so at least you got one in Crystal. Lucky. 
That would have been super exciting. I think the cartridge is just, is just dirty. Oh, that's a shame. Didn't outspeed. Well, I can't let this go to waste. Let's just... Well, in case there was any doubt if I was using a cartridge or not. Cleaning it would take too long. I don't want to, like, have that much downtime. It's not horrible. But I'll definitely do it before next time, because there will be a next time. As I've still got a bunch of Pokemon to evolve. The first shiny I tried for was in um, Ruby and Sapphire, like the remakes. I grinded for a shiny starter, so doing the reset. <laughs> so it, it wasn't too bad. As far as resets go, it's, it's, not, it's not too bad. I'd be I'd be watching TV and then just have the DS and just doing the the resets. Shiny hunting in that game was really really fun with the the deck snabbing feature. It was pretty chill. Whoops. Oh no! It's alright, I got the XP. What happens to Mark Chop's tail when it evolves? <laughs> I guess um, it retracts. Maybe it still has. Because it's wearing pants, maybe it's still under the pants. Or not pants, shorts. Girdle. I don't know what it is. It is it a girdle? It might be a girdle. It's underneath that clothing. Speedos, yeah. Or what we call them in Australia, budgie smugglers. That's that's what they're called. Yeah, budgie smugglers. Would you like to know why? Because it snuggles your dick. Close, it's s smuggle, not snuggle. So, budgie is a tiny bird, right? So, if you use your imagination, <laughs> if you use your imagination, you can probably guess why we call them budgie smugglers. I think that that's, that's enough of a mental picture. You should put two and two together. I think of all the Australianisms, that's, that's definitely one of my favorite. It's just, it's pretty accurate. Leave the poor budgies alone. Well, I didn't come up with that. Well, I'm gonna need help here. Yeah. You 
They would have actively made the choice to make Charizard fire flying. Fire Dragon just would have been too strong. It would have been the superior choice every time. Where's the tail under the budgie smugglers? See, now Surf looks normal. I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> I'm gonna- I'm gonna chalk it up to potentially a dirty cartridge. If I would have gone with blue for the Pokedex... Oh, man, there's just so many things that went wrong with Red's file. Between the Bulbasaur that ultimately did nothing and... I just did too much team swapping. This is what happens. I think this is one downside of, of these earlier games is it really doesn't encourage you to swap your team too often. Because it ends up like this, it's just, if you do it too often... You're gonna have to make them catch up. Like, that definitely wasn't a problem in later games. I am, I am underestimating how much this is going to take. How many candies have I got? Four. <laughs> but I said I wasn't going to use missing though. Because I wanted to do this in a manner to show how hard it would be <laughs> if you didn't use missing though. For the most part, I've gotten there. Hey, look, it's not doing it. Is it doing? I oh, know it's doing it. Maybe it's just an optical illusion. What if it always did this? It doesn't seem to be. Unless my eyes are tired, but it's. Is it more subtle now? No, it's not. It's not more subtle. <laughs> Like nails on a chalkboard. They vibrate more than shift. It so it is more subtle. Is this is. Did they always do? Okay, you know what? I have a way to test. I have. I think I know what it might be. I have a Game Boy here. I have a Game Boy. So I have- this is not an analog pocket. I'm gonna check the Game Boy. And see how it looks. Cause I think I know what it might be. No, dude, they move- they move on the Game Boy as well. It's just way more subtle than the Game Boy, but it does happen. Alright, confirmed. I'm not losing my mind. What it is, is the, the original hardware, the original hardware, because of the bad screen, it has a lower refresh rate or something. It's gotta be something like that, so it's less noticeable. But because this shit is like, super crisp and perfect image, 
you see you see it more but it does do it so they would have that's so funny like even back then they were they were hiding stuff that was kind of dodgy Well, now, now I can let it go, because it's not, it's not the analog pocket being weird. Like, I was worried that there was some technical problem. I wonder if yellow does it. This is like a- this is a rabbit hole that I'm going down. Dude, even- even back with the first game, they were still hiding graphical problems. I think a lot of Game Boy games did that in- in their defense, though. They relied on the fact that the Game Boy screen wasn't the best. And some games, they take advantage of the fact that they were intended to play on a CRT. So, yeah. It's funny how it just registered for me, but you don't see it as much as you focus on the character rather than the background. I think that's what it is. I think that's all it is, is the whole time I was focusing on where the character was going. So I guess if you're spectating, you see the full picture, and it's more likely that you're gonna see it. But it, it became crystal clear because the focus was on... My character was right next to another character that shifted, and the moment I moved, I saw it. That's bizarre. Okay, so my eye- my eyes aren't deceiving me. Do you- I think I know what- okay, so I- I mean, I can have a technical explanation for this. It's like, the way they- they implemented their camera. Because I guess the characters in the background are on two layers. And there's something wrong with the math. It's just... It's moving one of them too slowly. So it causes like, almost a weird parallax effect. I'm- I'm content now. <laughs> I'm so glad I- I thought of checking it on the actual Game Boy. That- that's- that's relieved me now. I'm- I'm fine now. It doesn't bother me anymore. I can let it go. Okay, cool. I always thought it looked weird, the tail. The sprite for this one. Oh, that's, that's some juicy XP right there.
this gets easier. Unfortunately, this is the only way I can think of doing this, because I don't think there's any other areas at a higher, a higher level than here that would work. Because Cerulean Cave, you can't get in until you beat the Elite Four. Let me, let me look at uh, what I'm up against in the Elite Four, then I'll be able to know. Elite Four Red. I want to see what level their Pokémon are, and then just just how, how badly I'm going to get my ass kicked. Okay, so... Lorelei... Average of, like, 55. Bruno, 55. Then Agatha is like Gengar's on sixty. Lance's sixty-two is at the highest. Venusaur is level sixty-five for the rival fight. Yeah. Like <laughs> I can't I can't do this, like Charizard's only 46. I might be in a bit of trouble here. I wonder, maybe to spare everyone the boredom, I could do this off stream. Or maybe do a pre recorded VOD. And just have me grind the rest of the levels out in a pre recording or some shit. If they don't have to be sick, like, I, I think I can get away with them being 55. They don't have to go to level 60. If we're super effective, it, it should be fine. It's just, there's no way I'm, I'm beating them right now. Like, it's just not gonna happen. Training montage. <laughs> I, I wish I could play music. I, I really do. Or if, like, you know... DMCA wasn't a thing. Totally play episodes of Pokemon right now. I will not- I will not cave to the missing no thing. There it is! That's, that's, that's the ability I want. There's the ice attack. And it's gonna learn Blizzard eventually. Thunder. Nita Queen can learn it, but I think Thunderbolt is fine. <laughs> um, maybe there's a place that I'm overlooking. Hold on. Let me see. Pokemon Red Elite. Elite for training. In a good place before the Elite Four, let's see. Guess what the recommendation is. <laughs> uh, I'm shit out of luck, it's here. Before the Elite Four, this is the best place to level. 
Some people are ballsy enough, they say, oh, just go fight the Elite Four over and over again until you win. And you will win some fights and it'll cause good level ups, but you're gonna lose a lot of times. Which, I, I guess. <laughs> The problem is you lose money every time. You lose money every time. You did that. It's a it's a valid strategy. Like it, it probably is the most XP you would get. Okay, now see now this is why Dugong's gonna be good. That's why I have Dugong. It's going to deal with those dragons. I'm not concerned about Lance. Dugong will, will sweep that shit. That's just, I'm worried about the first, the first two, I would say. There, there is, there is a strategy. There is a strategy that I could resort to. That is so damn cheesy, but it would work. Would be to get a lot of ether, just level up Nido Queen, and then just do the horn drill thing. <laughs> just have Nido Queen sweep the entire thing, which it, it's doable. It would just be throwing in a lot of energy behind Nido Queen. But I could do it, I could do that. I feel like both are equal effort. One is leveling a team to be competent enough. And the other one is leveling up Nido Queen to the point where like speed doesn't... She's always going to outspeed. Which, yeah, I don't know. Can you lose money if you have none? It doesn't go into the negative, I think. It always takes a percentage, and at a certain point, you're just not going to lose money. I think. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> I don't think anyone's lost to the point where they run out of money. Like, you would have to lose to the first, to the first Elite Four trainer every time. Unfortunately, this is going to start to get diminishing returns at a certain point. <laughs> Once it heads into 40s, that's when it's going to slow right down. if a good idea would be to put everyone away except two and then have it so one of them takes one out. I suppose the split experience is still gonna suck. I don't know. I don't know what the best way to do this is. For now I'm just focusing on getting like probably the most key Pokemon in a usable state. is going to deal with those those dragons. <laughs> I 
you can see why missing those just... It's just something that everyone does. I think the only way you can avoid it is to pretty much make sure your team is formed by... by the time you get to Misty. Which is what I did with Blue, and yeah... It, that team looks good. Very well leveled. If I had more money, I would have gone to shove one of the Pokemon in the daycare center. The problem is, I, I, I am worried that I might overdo it and then I can't <laughs> withdraw the Pokemon. You've never done missing that because you didn't know it until way later in life. Oh, no kidding. Man. I thought it was pretty universal. Missing note is, is interesting. Just because of the amount of conversation that got going. Around, like, uh... Just secret Pokemon and... Whether or not Missing No would destroy your game and... There was just so much around it. And the fact that that shit went around the world without the internet, really. It was always cool showing someone that didn't know about Missing No. Showing how to do it. It just made you feel like so knowledgeable. It's like, yeah, I know I know secrets. Look look at this. I've been grinding so much that I need to plug in my headset. Hang on. One simple thing that would have remedied this would just allow to rebattle a trainer. Ugh. I think there are ROM hacks that let you do that as well. Oh, here we go. This is a good experience. Stop! <laughs> I hate confuse. This thing should be down by now. Are, are you kidding me? Wow, that that is so annoying. How many coin flips did I lose there? <laughs> Okay, just need a queen, do it. I, I can't believe how much time that wasted, let alone XP. I, I lost because I couldn't take it out. That should have been a one-shot. I mean, okay, getting confused, sure, that was going to happen. Hurting myself once, okay, that's un that's unlucky, but it happens. Twice, sure. Three times, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I 
How about we listen to this music instead? This music makes me happy. So the way I'm going to play this is I'm going to focus on some key players. So the key players are going to be Dugong, Alakazam, and Nido Queen. Those three should hopefully be able to get me through it. If I'm... Let me just go over it. But then, uh, who's gonna deal with Lorelei at the start? That's the problem. I guess Alakazam could probably do most of it. There's just two that it wouldn't be able to take out. The fighting type is easy, that can probably fall. And a mix of uh, Dugong and Pidgeot. Agatha is straight up just an Alakazam sweep. And Lance is a Dugong sweep. So it's really just the first two that are the worry. I can't even use Zapdos because... It's, uh... It's flying type. See... I tried to be different with this, but when it comes down to it, <laughs> I should have gone with Jolteon. Like, just a standard lineup that I figured out as a kid that worked best. Right side. Dugong's almost at 40. I don't know. I might have to resort to just hitting my head against the brick wall. Okay, I know, I know what I can do. I can spend all my money on potions and revives. And then that way it's not going to matter if I lose. Because I'll, I'll have spent all my money. But I think to do that, I need everyone at, like, a roughly a level 40 baseline. And then I can see how I do. Because I can't imagine seeing me <laughs> fight wild Pokemon over and over again is the most entertaining thing. Getting there. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. As much as it's gonna suck. I 
Oh, wait a minute. Charizard can deal with... ...the things that are typed ice. Well, it can deal with... ...Jinx, at the very least. Hmm. Your Pokemon were around 45 to 50, except Charizard, that was like 65. <laughs> yeah. My starter really should be a higher level. I don't know what happened, like, I, I, I'm not sure. I, I've clearly done something stupid. Maybe I didn't fight wild Pokemon enough along the way, I don't know. Because there was a heavy focus on catching as as opposed to fighting. I, I really don't know. Spent all your money on potions and revive, like I said. Okay. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to do that. But not until... They need to be able to stand a chance first. So we're not quite at the point of diminishing returns yet. How is the rest of them looking? Pidgeot, 39. Eh. Vileplume is just like... Ugh. It's so hard to level... The grass type. It's just every time... It's the middle of the game where there's so much Team Rocket. And their types are poison, so it's just what can I do against that? I, I, I have no... It's not that... It's not that I take damage, I can't do damage. I bet Venusaur has that same problem. I guess, well, Venusaur at least ha can have... Like, you can teach it something, I don't know. Valplume's very heavy on the grass moves. I need Valplume, that's... that's the thing. Valplume would take out Slowbro. Okay, well... <laughs> oh... what have I gotten myself into? At the end, I'm straight up just using Mewtwo. It's gonna be Mewtwo, and then whoever I need to level up in a team with experience share. And then it's just like, repeat Elite Four. Maybe do Cerulean Cave to vary it up, but... Man, a Nuzlocke must be tough for Gen 1. I'm not sure I could complete one. Given all the random stuff that can take you out easily. How does Mewtwo look? You've never caught him or seen him in red. Oh. Um... Neck looks really weird. It almost looks like there's a tube going into his neck.
the sprite is very strange. It's it's not like remotely close to how uh, how he looks now. Kind of kind of has like a little bit of a Mr. Burns pose. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. curious about something. Because this floor gives you Marchoke and Golbat. If this gives you Graveler, this might be the better floor. This, this boosting thing is just so good. <laughs> Another dirty thing I could do is just get Pokemon from blue. I think at this point it's a moot point. I wish I could show the sprite now, but I haven't- I don't think there's any way to know. Ooh. Oh right, it's not flying, that's why. that it wasn't that bad. It's weird looking. Was it what- I mean... Granted, maybe a little bit hyperbolic, but... It, it does look very different. The one thing I remember from Gen 1 to Gen 2 is, like, Zubat and Golbat, <laughs> no one wanted them, but then when Crobat came into the mix, man, everyone wanted Crobat. They made it worth, uh, dealing with Zubat's bad moves at the start. A bat that becomes your friend and evolves. This may, may be, like, why I should have gone with Victory Bell, but it's okay. It's too late to course correct for that. Victory Bell would have gotten experience boosting.
I still need to level up Bellsprout, because... Yeah. We need Victory Bell. But do I have it? Hang on. Oh, no, I got it. Alright, never mind. I do have Victory Bell. But it's level 20-something, most likely. Whatever level Weeping Bell happens at. I mean, I, I wanted this to be the better floor. It kind of is. looking. It's still it's still not great. <laughs> I'm curious there's no way to ever find this out, but like as a percent as a percentage how many kids that played this got through this without the missing no thing and how many resorted to it. I think with me, the first playthrough I did, I wasn't aware of missing, though, but then... I didn't catch them all that playthrough. And then the second playthrough I did... At that point, I was aware of missing, though. And that's where all the stupid urban legends about beating the Elite Four over and over again came in. Oh, man. There were so many times where I just... That's all I did. I just kept fighting the Elite Four, because... I was hoping... One of those... One of those urban legends were true. I still have a few red candies I can use. I have three that I can use. I am still gonna leave the one. But effectively I can boost one of them to be a, a bit more of a carry. I'm leaning more towards Alakazam. Alakazam carry. Because it doesn't really have any weaknesses, it's just... It has a situation where it's not going to do more damage, so something has to step in, in that regard. I would, the way I would probably do it would be level Alakazam to 50, and then use it then, because that's when, like, there's diminishing returns. I'm taking Seal to, well, Dugong, to 45, and that should be in a position where it should be usable in the Elite Four battles. Even if I ultimately lose them, at least it can earn XP that way. And then the only other thing I gotta do is bring Valplume to a usable level, just so it can deal with Slowbro. And, uh, what's the other one? Just... 
again with the lineup. So, Lorelei has Dugon, Cloyster, Slowbro, Jinx, Lapras. So, Dugong, Cloyster, and Lapras can, we, can be dealt with by Alakazam. Slowbro needs to be taken out by... by, uh, Fileplume. And then Jinx is like... Charizard, because it would be... I just have to, I guess, get the hit off. If not, worse comes to worse, it's... No, you don't- oh, would- no, Nita Queen might be able to deal with that, actually. Maybe. Because it doesn't have any psychic moves. It just has double- double slap, ice punch, body slam, thrash. So they don't have a psychic move, so it doesn't- it's not gonna get screwed over. I have to really think it through. Then Bruno pretty much has Onyx, Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, Onyx, Machamp. So that is a split between Dugong and Alakazam. Agatha is just straight up Alakazam. Lance is Dugong. Final fight. The thing I'm gonna need an answer for is the level 59 Alakazam. Everything else... Pidgeot is taken out by Dugong. Rhydon taken out by Dugong. Arcanine taken out by Dugong. Gyarados taken out by Dugong. Venusaur taken out by Alakazam. The only thing I need an answer for is... Blue's Alakazam. So... What am I gonna do against that? I guess I could send Charizard out. That could potentially work. Okay. I kind of have it planned. It's just the problem is they just outlevel me by so much right now. If nothing else, this is authentic. This is <laughs> what what you had to do in this game. How are you doing? Okay, I mean one more level 40 fight, or, uh, a couple more of the lower level fights. But at least it's in a usable spot. to get Mewtwo, I'm gonna need them at a good level as well. There's a whole Mewtwo thing as well, it's just... In order to have any hope of catching Mew- well, okay, I could throw the Master Ball at it. Yes, I'm gonna learn it. Because I have the Poker Flute. So it's kind of a legit strat. <laughs> One more level to go, and then I'm, I'm leaving Dugong where it is. Game, please. How much does it need? 
You know what? Not as much as I, I had thought. But that's... 12 battles-ish? Without taking into account, like... The cases where we get Onyx and it's good XP. Anywhere between 12, well, 9 to 12 battles. I'm kind of getting a lucky run here. Give me more level 40s, it just means less fights. Oh, that's what I want to see. That's what I want to see right there. Yes! Keep the level 40s coming. That was pretty excellent, it's almost leveled up. It. That's 45. Okay, and now I just need to get Vile Plume into not the same state, but one where it's not behind. Like 36 is unusable. This is what I want to be doing to slow, bro. <sighs> oh, the leveling's gonna be so much slower because no boosting. <laughs> it's gonna be so much slower. I need to run into Onyx more. Onyx will give me good XP. There we go. Really? It's quicker? Okay. That's better. I guess if you wanna... <laughs> if you wanna play through these at some point... The traded Pokemon are pretty damn legit. How much does it have per level? Okay, I mean, it's getting there. I'm gonna take Valplume to about 40. That should be enough for it to just be 
It just needs to be useful against slow, bro. That's it. Because I, I don't really have an answer for that. It's just... Alakazam can't do it because psychic type. Dugong can't do it. Ah, uh, maybe it could. I guess it depends what the interaction with ice and water is. I don't know why I'm fighting this. I shouldn't be fighting this. It's fine. slow. If an onyx is outspeeding, this is gonna- it's just not gonna work. Hang on. Okay, it's- it's not too bad. If I take out a few onyx, it's- it's relatively quick, and thankfully onyx seems to be pretty common here. for it right away. I forgot that it'll come in handy against um, Bruno as well. Like, it would do quite well against Bruno. Fighting types can't damage it, and rock types can't damage it. So... Kind of good, either way. It's not gonna be super effective, but at least it's not gonna take heavy damage. so impatient with this. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, maybe I can just go like this. I mean, we are t I, I don't know. I can't visualize, like, how much of a, t a level difference of 10 is gonna make. Ah, oh, it's only level 36. That's... that's unfortunate. Still decent, but yeah, low level. Okay, redemption. That's better. Okay. I need to go back and heal it anyway. 
I think I'm gonna have to commit to this whole, like, just keep fighting the Elite Four until <laughs> I win. It's kind of unfortunate. Um... Giving it to Alakazam. Full restore is like just everything. want to make sure, like, I'm ready for every single status affliction that might come. <laughs> I guess that guy's all my money. I could, I could dry run it. I know I'm gonna lose, but... That was HP up. I think that's probably going to be more exciting <laughs> than grinding this. Okay, well... I guess level up by doing this, huh? This is going to be the hardest one to get past, I think. But we'll see. Eek. So, I mean, Alakazam is generally pretty damn strong. Okay. Holy crap. <laughs> it's just like... Close to the, is... I guess it's the same thing, it's just... Al Alakazam. Okay, two down. Yeah, I mean... Let's, let's just see. Oh, you dick. No, come on. Stay, stay asleep. <laughs> oh my god, it does nothing. It, it barely does shit. <laughs> So 
Alright, just keep doing, keep doing this. The elitist of the four. Just n don't use an attacking move. Man, five sol <laughs> it's gonna eat six solar beams. But you know what? This should this should equate in a whole level up, if not almost two. Alright, good job, Valplume. You did your job. Jinx is ice psychic. Alright, so this is where I have to hope Charizard does the job. Oh! I might get taken out, but it did a lot of damage. It's like... That's the sad thing about- Oh no! We survived! Okay, 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 okay. Nice, good job. Okay, and now this is Alakazam again. Gonna hurt. I'm gonna go for a recover. I'm playing defensive. Dude, not this. How come when I get confused? Okay, we're going for like a special strategy here. Hopefully. Fuck. I was hoping that would work. Okay, um... I don't know if Nita Queen will outspeed. If it did! Probably won't kill. Cool, so Lapras is the problem. Sorry, it's just Alakazam needs to be revived. Look, I'm, I'm sticking to the strategy. Alakazam is a key player. I don't really need the rest, so to speak. As, as weak as this might sound. Okay. I didn't swap. I thought I swapped. Whoops. This might be a misplay. I think it should still be fine. Let's 
ました。I mean, so far, it's going okay. It's scary, but it's going okay. I can get away with using Psybeam. Yep. Nice crit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is this is looking good. Alkazam just just needs to sweep now. I believe. Okay, let's Gengar on. No, no, save it, save it, save it. Ice moves need to get saved for the dragons. Alakazam is just so ridiculously strong. That's fine. Shouldn't do much. Oh no, crit. No. Oh, damn it. Okay. Um, just use this. We'll be fine. Ugh. 
No, I might die to this. Oh, hang in there. Got it. <laughs> Dude. Okay. Good job, Alakazam. Huh. I mean, as it's... It, it might be a case where I can fully commit to this. You know? Like, it's, it's almost at that point where I could potentially commit to this. I mean, if I- honestly, if I got through this like this, then I have played well. If I beat him, then I'm gonna- I'm gonna res the team. And just go for it. Shit. This might take out Dugong. Fuck. Okay, it needs to recharge. That's a f that's Wait, I thought I had oh no. Wait, I thought I had to recharge after hyper beam. Okay, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Fuck, I might lose to Hyper Beam. Okay, let's... Not panic. Take out the big bad dragon. Dragon is going to be quicker. It might. I was supposed to use rest, but I fucked up. But this might be a blessing in disguise. Fucking hyper beam, oh my god. Are they all gonna have hyper beam? Okay, it survived. Get out of here. Oh my god. Okay, well, this is something I did not account for. That is, uh, yeah, that is fucked. But the level difference isn't. It's, oh my god, it crit. Okay. Psybeam, just take it out. I want I wanna give Dugong like a good a good try. It's gonna hyper beam anyway, so let's just... Mm. 
Well, I mean, this is where it comes to an end. Either way, it survived. Dragonite's gonna have Hyper Beam. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> this is as far as I got. Not bad. Could have could have gone worse. How much money do I have? I feel like I'm at a net positive, right? Oh yeah, I got I got more money than when I started. That's fine. Um, hell yeah. This is the way to go. Every time I do this, I get more max potions, and I guess I... I get back what I spent. Alright. <laughs> oh, if Hyper Beam kills, it doesn't need to recharge in Gen 1. Well! That's certainly a detail I don't remember, but thank you. <laughs> Pretty much it's always gonna kill. With the exception of Alakazam, but this will get easier. Like, for a first run, it's fine. It definitely beats grinding. This will only get easier. That, that worked fine. Now I just gotta not... Yes! I'm gonna swap out anyway, because I can't fight the next two. Okay, again. <laughs> Bring out the pocket Val plume. Should probably. I'm just worried it's gonna use water gun. Eh, you know what? Screw it. I know for Gyarados, just bring out <laughs> Alakazam. Take out Gyarados with Alakazam. Why? Why is this even here? <laughs> it's just. I mean, I'll, I'll, I don't mind. Like, hey, easy XP for Valbloom. Okay, Charizard dealt with Jinx last time. Just as long as Jinx doesn't crit, we'll be fine. Oh, 
to crit. Fuck. That's unfortunate. Um, that's my plan B here. I guess. Cause I got fighting. No, but it's like. Uh. This is kind of annoying. Should still deal decent damage. Okay. Now Lapras caused some problems last time. Need a crinkin' out speed, so let's just do this. Just get a little damage on it. These are basically my fodders. <laughs> At some point, it's gonna work. Okay, well... Okay, everything's fine. To be honest, <laughs> it's just these two that are going to carry. Okay. Bruno's no problem. Eventually, at a certain point, Dugong and Alakazam will be strong enough to finish this. It won't take long. is way less of a level gap than last time. Yes. Okay, even better. Alright, well now it's... Alakazam sweep.
it's pretty much just Lorelei that's causing me problems. And Lance. The middle two are fine. Okay. Coin flip. Ah. <laughs> Why is it when I confuse a the target, they hit every time? Then when I'm confused... Okay, I gotta save the ice moves. That's... that's a shame. I'm not wasting a psychic move. Nice. Okay. That's the number I want to see. Oh, oh. No, that's fine. Ha! Yeah, use it. Okay. All right. Time for Lance. beam. Okay. This feels better. Good. Alright, Gyarados is not causing me problems this time. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> Hopefully Dugong can can do some good here this time. <laughs> I ape. Okay. Yeah. Now now what, dickhead? In all likelihood, this is a hyper beam. Yep. As long as it doesn't crit. Okay. Didn't, it didn't hyperbeam. I'm surprised and shocked. Wait, are Zackball? Should D okay. 
fin de queue. Oh. Ah. Oh, crap. It might not survive this. Oh, it did. No. Okay, again. Wait. No, but I'm confused. Okay, just heal, just heal, just heal. That's fine. God, Confuse. Why am I so unlucky with Confuse? Peel was the right choice. Thank you. Expecting that one. Yeah, it wasn't gonna survive. Okay, well, it's all on Alakazam. It's got it. If it survives, we'll be fine. Uh, fucking hyper beam. There's, there's not a whole lot of point in, in resing. Okay. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Let's go. <laughs> I can't believe Valplume pulled that off. That was so lucky. Okay. Or you would have been blah 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 blah. Alright, we have to face chat. Okay, I'm bringing the team back up. I mean, at this point, I should save. Because I could probably- I could probably pull this off. To the ones that deserve it the most. I feel like Pidgeot might not come in handy. I think Pidgeot's gonna be fodder, to be honest. Like a, re a revive fodder. Okay, um, this is the commit. And also, where's the ether? Alakazam needs to be in like full. Full fighting. Okay, I'm sending Nita Queen out because it's. Pidgeot first. Whatever we can do.
Yeah, yeah, most powerful Pokemon trainer in the world. A big level difference. Hopefully, at the very least, Needham can take out this. Good luck, Nita Queen. Now, this is the one where I feel like I don't have an answer for it. The Alakazam is the problem. It has Psychic and Psybeam. I've gotten so lucky that it hasn't... Well, now it has. But I got two, two attacks off. Alright, there goes Charizard. Charizard, you did the best. tough. Because everything at this point is, is fodder. I don't think anything can keep up with this. The only thing I can hope for, maybe, is like a lucky sleep. If it reflects again, but I doubt it. Wow, it did. Stay asleep, stay asleep, stay asleep. Unbelievable. <laughs> Vile plume again. Okay. This could be scary with horn drill. Okay, gone. Get deleted. We'll be fine. Ember's not going to do much here. Okay, I have to play this very carefully. Oh, it's Exeggutor. <laughs> okay. Oh, but it's Psychic type as well. Okay, hang on. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Oh my god, I took it out. That's on that's so unlucky.
Okay, this is this is fodder. That's fine, you can do whatever you want now. I can't believe it survived. <laughs> what is what is happening? Maybe. <laughs> I swear to God. What is this plot twist? Vile Plume! That's the third time it's gotten off asleep. Okay. Got it. I, c I can't believe Valpalum pulled that off. Holy shit. Okay, now Alakazam, bring it home. It knows Blizzard? But it's not going to be Stab. It should be fine. We should be fine. If it does Hydro Pump, that might be more scary. Okay. GG. I can't- I can't believe Val- Valplume three times with the clutch. Sleep. I ran this over it, it's not there! Alright. Uh, why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokémon. Darn it, you're the new Pokemon League champion, although I don't like to admit it. So wait, that was attempt number two, wasn't it? So you won, congratulations, you're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Charmander. Well, you have come of age. Chat, I'm disappointed. I came when I heard you beat the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost. Chat, do you understand why you lost? You've forgotten to treat your Pokémon with trust and love. Without them, you'll never become a champ again. Well, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokémon is marvelous. Come with me. Thank you for the GG. <laughs> to be honest, I feel, I feel pretty good about it, given the clutch file plume. Okay, the Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. You have endeavored hard to become the new Pokemon League champion. Congratulations, you and your Pokemon are in the Hall of Fame. Alright, well now Cerulean Cave is open, which means I can continue the journey of catching them all. I'm kind of surprised. The swap to the Dugong was definitely, definitely the way to go. I can't believe- this is like MVP right here. Surprise MVP. Didn't really do much, but you know, it was- it was there, it helped. If nothing, as a meat shield. Charizard got a couple of important takedowns. The carry. It's not, it's not impressive. 147 scene. Okay, we're nearly at the end. I'll need maybe... Maybe one more stream, I don't know. The problem is I have to train up a bunch of them and I'm not resorting to missing no, so... I think the way forward will probably be with Mewtwo. Just take Mewtwo and then just do XP share. With the thing I'm interested in tra training up and just run the Elite for. 
Maybe? I don't know. Alright. <laughs> I, I feel pretty satisfied with, with that end bar. Well. Now I need to plan out what I'm gonna do. As there's... There's not too many Pokemon left, but... The biggest pain to level up is gonna be Dratini. Which I probably should have started a long time ago. That'll be the one that takes the longest. The others, it's like... Uh, about 10 to 12 levels per... Pokemon. So, and it's usually before level 50 anyway. I think the highest is 40. Just, yeah, the Dragonite is, is gonna be the, the struggle. Okay. Um, yeah. <sighs> I think the major thing from tonight is just the, the motion thing. <laughs> I can't believe I never noticed that before. Alright. Oh, wait. This doesn't reset on its own, does it? Right. You know, I grew up in the, the era of this, but I have forgotten. Okay, wakey wakey pocket. Alright. <laughs> kind of... kind of incredible. Well now at this point... It doesn't particularly matter too much now. Like, how much money do I have? Most of that should go to Ultra Balls. I mean, I'm gonna try and catch Mewtwo without the Master Ball. Like, if, if I was to play this the intended way, it would be use the Master Ball on Mewtwo, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, um... I would hope that's enough, and then... There. This is just pretty much replacing what I what I spent, more or less. <laughs> I'm poor again, but I can at the very least run through the Elite Four if I want to level things up further. I can't I just can't believe how useful Vileplume was in that whole thing. Alright, well, I have to leave it here for tonight, chat. It's late and I have work in the morning. But next time we pick this up, I'll, uh, I'll head to Cerulean Cave and I guess we'll get whatever needs to get getting there. And then it's the journey of grinding to the 151, so hopefully that won't take long. But it might be still a couple streams before I wrap this up. Anyway. If you've reached the end here later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end, particularly through all this grinding I had to do, but hopefully it was worth it in the end. And uh, if you want to support the channel, just remember to click buttons like the ones that have that thumbs up on it. It helps out a lot. And thank you to those that do do that. I appreciate it a lot. And in the meantime, if you want to watch me play other stuff, just click one of the videos that have popped up by now. All right, till next time. Bye, YouTube.